Hola there, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to a week of food. Nourishing our bodies is so important, and I want to show some simple warming recipes alongside the reality of life getting in the way. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Starting this video off, a couple days before Halloween, we have to make cookies. As the cooler weather approaches many of us in the world, we have to enjoy some warm, comfort foods, and cookies are one of them. I am fully winging it with this recipe. I am a cook, I am not a baker. Although they didn't end up that bad, they definitely need more oil to flatten out. I will leave the full recipe for this down below. However, I'm going to adjust the oil and give you the proper measurements. Super simple recipe though, with banana, brown sugar, flour, oats, super hearty, super delicious. And we're going to add some dark chocolate and some pecans. Or like, what's that movie, Matilda? <laughs> and because we we're trying to get in the Halloween vibe, we were listening to scary music the entire time we were making these cookies. And not gonna lie, I was absolutely terrified until I just embraced it. Hey, bring them back! <laughs> As you can see, they didn't flatten out as much as we hoped that they would. We added a quarter cup of coconut oil to them. However, I would say that they needed a third a cup or even a half a cup of coconut oil to flatten them out and make them a little bit more moist. We added a couple more tablespoons into the next batch of the batter and baked them up and they ended up a little bit better, but not quite. Like I said, I think we could add a whole half a cup of coconut oil to this recipe. But say hello to Cheeky. This is the cutest bird alive and my best friend's pride and joy. And I am honored that she is now comfortable enough to jump on my finger and land on my shoulder. It's, I never thought I was a bird person until I met Cheeky. <laughs> Despite the wholehearted wingingness of this recipe, even the timing of it was winged, they ended up pretty damn delicious, I do gotta say. We carved some pumpkins and enjoyed this cozy night in. Yeah. What better way to start the day than with a delicious Americano and two cookies? <laughs> Although after that I needed some breakfast, some hearty food, so I chopped up some tofu and seasoned it really well with salt. That's the key to tofu to make it taste good. Add enough salt, my friends, okay? I got it into the pan, browned it up, added some pepper and some balsamic vinegar, giving it a nice little toss, seasoning it with some chili flakes as well chopping an avocado in half, plating our tofu, and I'm going to enjoy some fresh bread that my friend's parents got, and some spicy oil eggplant thing. <laughs> and then just enjoyed all of this mixture kind of mashed together on some bread. I love a simple breakfast like this. I sadly was staring at my computer for most of the day and I was graciously served some black tea. I had some oat milk in it and drank a bunch of kefir on this day along with some pineapple. A great way to enjoy some delicious food that is healthy and saves you some time is to surround yourself with people that also enjoy really delicious food. So I was super grateful that my friend's parents made dinner on this night. Broccoli, this coconut cream potato dish, and a super yummy bean salad with hot peppers from their garden as well. And my friend's little sister made chocolate muffins. Great way to end the night, I do gotta say. Turkey has turned me into a tea person. I enjoy black tea a lot, but even though I'm drinking black tea, I still gotta enjoy coffee, okay? Hate me if you will, I love the caffeine. I'm in the caffeine moment of my life, and for a long time, I was not into it. For a very long time. But I am now addicted. I'm also loving a cookie, a sweet in the morning with my coffee. Mm -hmm. But after all of that, I need to fuel my body with a little bit more substance. So I'm chopping up some onion and some red, pe orange pepper and 
crumbling in some tofu. I still wanted some chunks of this tofu, so I wasn't like breaking it super, super finely. Seasoning it with some salt, paprika, a touch of cayenne, Dijon mustard, white wine vinegar, some vegan mayonnaise. Realized I needed a little bit more crunch to it. So chopped up some celery and some green onion as well. Mixed everything together, gave it a little taste test, seasoned it with a little more salt and pepper as I needed. And then got some more of this delicious fresh bread, some avocado, and we're just gonna throw this mixture right on top. I was kind of going for an egg salad vibe but with tofu, obviously. If you have some black salt, that would be amazing and it will make it taste a little bit more eggy. But honestly, enough salt and enough white wine vinegar in this and it was delicious. Me and my girlfriend then went out for some hot chocolate and sipped on that while we chatted away. Once we got back to her place, I enjoyed a couple pieces of chocolate and just a very small bowl of this soup that her mom made. I only had a small bowl because I was going to hot yoga and I didn't want to stuff myself before I went into a room and sweated for an hour. But after hot yoga, I was with another girlfriend and we got some boba tea. I got like a passion fruit one. It was super, super yummy, but hard as hell to get into. <laughs> She got it. I got it. <laughs> and to end the night, I had a big hearty bowl of this lentil potato soup. It was so flavorful, absolutely delicious. Oh. I just wanna hop in here and say, Coffee machines are dangerous. Don't own one. <laughs> they are amazing, but holy, they just make you want to drink three coffees a day, I swear. To start off today, I chopped up half of an apple, added that to a frying pan with some coconut oil, along with some maple syrup once the apples got a little soft and browned, cinnamon, some whole road, o whole road oats, and some quick oats along with some walnuts and some pecans, mixing that all together, adding a bit more maple syrup and a couple tablespoons worth of peanut butter, splash of milk, mashing that all together until it was nice and crumbly. I cooked it a little bit longer, just so it hardened up a bit and wasn't like soggy or soft. And look how cute this freaking bird is. Mm, she's so cute, oh, I love her. I had this with some raspberries and some more oat milk and also enjoyed breakfast with Cheeky. We we bonded on this morning. We really did. And I gave her a grape and it was freaking adorable to watch her eat this. It was mm, so cute. Today was a travel day. I went from one friend to another friend and we made it to her kitchen. I'm making myself some dinner, chopping up some onion, ginger, and some garlic. The classic three ingredients that I use all of the time. Heated up a pot and it was hard to control this heater thing. So I took it off the heat and you know what I'm saying. I added some <laughs> kale to the pot, seasoned everything with a good amount of salt and pepper throwing in some red Swiss chard as well, mixing that all together and giving it a good splash of white vinegar. I would have used lemon juice, but I just didn't have any. So I opted for white vinegar for a little bit of acidity, heating up another pot with some oil, throwing in some tofu. And once that one mixture was finished cooking, I heated up some water, cooked up some rice noodles, and then strained them, mixed everything together. I lied, I had lemon juice. Why did I think I didn't have lemon juice when I was recording this? I don't know, why did I use vinegar? I don't know, maybe I just didn't have enough lemon juice. Anyways, we finished the meal, we plated it up. I slightly overcooked my rice noodles, don't be me. I say this all the time. I get distracted, I just get distracted when I'm cooking and you know what, oh, it still ended up delicious. So, finishing the night off with some chocolate. A massive thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I use them and love them because they make creating a beautiful website simple and easy to run from the back end once it's launched. I love the ability to change your website at any point in time. Maybe you made a mistake, a spelling mistake. It's not hard to fix. You go in, you edit your website, you relaunch it, and you're good 
to go. And there are so many things that are essential to running an optimized business, like sending out beautiful email campaigns that you don't have to design from scratch. They've got pre-made ones for you. Change the color scheme, change the layout, do what you need to do to make your dream website using Squarespace. If you wanna try them out, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch that beautiful website, head to squarespace.com slash Julia Ayers to get 10% off of your first purchase of a domain or website. Again, a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. But I know, I'm not regular milk tends to go. Mm. I'm too busy and I'm not oh like my It sits in the cup, and goes. Wait. So we pulled into the nose. Oh. Going to the grocery store and only buying a few ingredients and you have to make multiple meals with those few ingredients, but you want to make each meal different. That's a difficult task, but I'm here. I'm here for it. I'm here for the challenge. As you saw, I chopped up some onion, sweet potato, garlic, and now I'm cubing up some tofu. We're getting our onion and garlic into the pan first, of course. Sauteing that, adding some salt, pepper, chili flakes, mixing that all on down until we turn the onion brown, <laughs> throwing the sweet potato in there, covering that with a pan, a splash of water, covering it with a lid, I should say, throwing in our tofu, some Swiss chard, and a bunch of coriander. If you don't like coriander, that's totally okay. Opted out for basil or parsley. Seasoning everything with some more salt and pepper, vinegar again. I probably have lemon in the fridge. Why am I using vinegar? I don't know. Once everything was cooked, I plated it up, adding some hummus, some garlic hummus on top, along with some broccoli sprouts. And I just squeezed lemon on it. So I have lemon, as you can see. Although nothing special about this meal, it was super delicious and very, very nourishing as well. My friend invited a bunch of people over to come and visit me while I was staying with her. So my lunch just consisted of a bunch of broccoli and hummus because Sometimes that's life when you're busy. But a little bit later, we got into cooking dinner together. Life is easier when you cook with two people. I do gotta say, here's a tip. If your cutting board is moving around, wet a cloth, put the wet cloth underneath of the cutting board, and I swear to God, the cutting board will stop moving. Magic, literally magic. Throwing in some onions and mushrooms into a pan along with some oil, seasoning that with salt and pepper. Got the pasta, pasta water, some squash. Some mushrooms and onions, some wine. I drank too much of that. And autumn, my BFF from grade eight. Why am I turning it? I did this voiceover and I turned southern and I'm turning oh southern. Why? I've not been out of any southern place. Once our mushrooms and onions had a nice brown on them, I removed them from the pan, added a big chunk of vegan butter to it, along with some garlic, cooking that until it was nice and fragrant, throwing in our pasta water, chili flakes, and this seasoning package thingy, I don't know what that was. <laughs> a splash of soy milk, milk, our pasta, our sauteed onions and mushrooms, and some squash as well. That you saw Autumn put in and out of the oven. She's plating up her plate. I'm gonna plate up my plate and we're gonna enjoy the heck out of this. I'm gonna top it off with some parsley as well. And this one was from Chef's Plate actually. So the recipe was sent to Autumn along with all of the ingredients and we cooked it up and it was super easy, super delicious. This is the only experience I have with them, but pretty good. Applause to you guys. Yes. I can trust myself. Another day, another few ingredients. Chopping up some red onion along with some garlic. I love garlic. A half a block of tofu and throwing that into a pan along with some oil. We are frying up our tofu every single side. We're trying to make it brown, seasoning it with some salt, throwing in our chopped onion and garlic, seasoning that with some pepper as well, some spinach, kale, that's kale, lemon juice. Why am I not using vinegar? I don't know chili flakes, a lot of oregano. Don't be stingy on it, okay? And we're also going to add in a bunch of chopped coriander as well, mixing that all together until the kale was cooked down and the onions were nice and soft. Squeezing some lemon juice on that along with our hummus, the rest of the hummus, because I ate that entire thing in like a day and a half. No regrets, love hummus, delicious. 
So I actually didn't film the rest of that day and I did very minimal filming. In fact, this is the only footage that I filmed over the next few days as I was hanging out with my aunt, cousin, and her newborn, well, not newborn, he's 11 months old, but first time I met him, so he's newborn to me. This is my beautiful, silly, amazing cousin, Amanda. And you see a little baby boy in the background. And I was just soaking up some time with family as I haven't seen them in a long time. And also enjoyed this delicious meal in this amazing house that's a family friends. And look at these forks and knives. So pretty. So a couple days after that, I flew back to British Columbia, Canada. And I started today off with a coffee and a pastry because why not? And to make my life simple, I wanted to have a chia seed pudding. I transferred the chia seeds back and forth between these jars because I figured I should probably mash my banana first. Throwing the chia seeds back in along with a good amount of oat milk, mixing that all together and throwing in some maple syrup, my beloved maple syrup. If you know, I have been missing this over the last few months and oh my goodness, I was so excited to have my own entire liter of maple syrup to myself once again. It was a reuniting of who I am as a Canadian gal. I also threw some cinnamon into the cheese seed pudding. It was absolutely delicious and enjoyed an apple as well. I am currently staying in an Airbnb with a bunch of private rooms and common space with some lovely people. I had my headphones in on this morning and was just enjoying a solo dance party as I ate my breakfast and it was exactly the calm I needed. As the cooler weather is here, it's here, it's not approaching us, it's here. We need some soup. So I chopped up some portobello mushroom and some onion, got that into a pan with some oil, and as that's sauteing, I chopped up some carrot and some sweet potato, and along with it, a bunch of garlic. Seasoning what's in the pan with a good amount of salt, adding the garlic and some pepper until it got fragrant. Oregano, basil, chili flakes, paprika, and a little bit of smoked salt. Our carrot and sweet potato, along with an entire box of vegan beef broth, quote unquote, a good splash of water, balsamic vinegar, and however much this is of lentils. That's just all I had left in a bag, so <laughs> I added that to it and then just cooked everything until, well, it was done. And because I made a big batch of this, I just had multiple bowls throughout the day, filled my body up. And that's the amazing thing about cooking a big batch of something, you get to eat a bunch of it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and got some value out of it in some way or another. I truly appreciate you. If you could hit the like button and subscribe button, I would appreciate it. And I'll see you again so very soon. Mwah!